What I'm going to do, um, because he's off the wall and he's pulling, um, and he's using his, he's basically using his, you could see him get into like that, I call it four-wheel drive. They get super low and just go. Um, so once you get into that with him, you've basically lost. So try not to let him get there, and if they do, I'll teach you how to take it out. Okay, come. Come. Good boy. So I'm just going to give him a little leash pressure with the slip lead. Come. Ah, ah, good boy. Ah. Good. Come. Good. So see, I already tightened them up. Yeah. Ah. Now, what's the point you give him the correction? Um, so it's a good question. So when I give him a correction, I'm basically just applying pressure to the slip lead. Come, Kai, come. This to get him to do what I want. So when I'm walking with him. I want him to be pretty much next to me. So if he goes outside of the boundaries of like what I consider a heel, then he gets a little pressure. And what do you consider a heel? Is that like when the, when the shoulder passes your leg? Yeah. Basically the heel is is the dog's two front feet are at my heel. Um, is she crate trained? So going back to your, your correction question, um, all I'm doing is I'm pretty much just putting him to where I want him with a verbal marker. So like a heel, like when we ask a dog to sit, we say sit and we apply pressure until they do it. Heel, when I'm walking, he goes outside of my heel, I'm just gonna apply pressure until he gets back in. So it's just pressure release system. But he just doesn't understand pressure release because he's used to just this. So I gotta teach him that first, which is what we're gonna do today. Okay, come. Good, come. Come. Good. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, come. Pop. Good boy. Good boy. Come. Come. Good boy. So I'm getting him to just follow me around. So I'm letting him know through leash pressure that working with me is the best option for him. Come. Come. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm using my body. No. So he comes up like that, and I corrected him down. Just a quick pop. Good. Moving forward. Good boy. So I'm always praising him, good boy, when he's in this. I'm going to teach him heel later, but right now it's just he's got to understand this without having a fit. What's the difference between bumping him with your knee and giving him a correction? Um, the difference between bumping him with my knee and giving him a correction. Good question. If I push him with my knee, I'm telling him that he has to pay attention to where my body's going. Now, if I give him a correction, that ultimately is letting him know he's doing something bad. Okay. So the knee is basically, he's pay attention. still in a decent position, but he's... I want him to look up at me. So if I walk forward and I do that, you see what he just, he looked right up at me, right? I'll do it again. So I'm gonna keep him right there. So I'll use my pressure to pull him back a little bit, and then I'll use my knee to just pop him out of the way. So I'll do it again. Moving forward, pressure, pop. Good. Again. Good boy, nice. Good boy. Good boy. So his reward is no pressure on the leash. So this is a loose leash walk. Very good boy. So basically I'm making our walk more enjoyable, right? And our relationship because he doesn't have to worry about much except his sister in the back carrying on, which is fine, because I'll get her out here in a minute too. So this, correct it, no, down. Pressure and down, or no. Yeah. So I'm just breaking all of his bad behaviors as I'm teaching him how to walk nice. Okay, so with her, she's got a bit more anxiety. Um, back and forth, back and forth. Um, so I gotta be a little more on top of her because I want her to calm down quicker. Ru, come. Good girl, come. So same thing, me being really calm will help her. Now I'm gonna start using my body. I'll just move her this way, move her this way. See the first time, she looked up at me. Second time, she moved out of my way. I love that. 
because she's smart. Good girl. You get stepped on twice, then it's your fault, right? Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Nice. Good girl. I'm going to do some outside turns. Because the inside turns are the easy ones, so when I cut into her, she has no choice. Mm -hmm. Outside turns, Rukam. Nice, good girl. Rukam. Come, good girl. Change it up. Good girl. Dance. Little bit. Nice. Okay, now turn back my way. Good. Turn to her, turn into her again. The slower you go, the easier it'll be for you guys. So I always slow down. Nice. Now walk towards me. Good. Now do an outside turn. Tell her to come. Come, come on. Good. Nice. Good. Here's a suggestion. Suggestion: When you're working with her, or both of them, or one or the other, always try to look like where you want to go. So use your instead of down at the dock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like I always tell people, it's like you're the captain of the ship, right? Between these two, and you want that relationship. Yeah, they're looking to you, not right. So if you get into the car and you're in the driver's seat, and then you start going and looking, you know, you're the one driving. So always look straight, and just use your peripherals to see what they're doing. Look straight. So if you need to, just look down straight, and then use your. I'd like you to just feel them more than look at them, on your leash. Nice. Yeah, and see, she's, yeah, that's good. She's looking right at you. It's good. Good. Now slow down and stop. Good. What do you think? Is that, is that feel oh, better? Weird. Okay, cool. It, it is different trying not to look down at them because I'm trying to gauge, like, where she is. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So we have a lot of people say the same thing. The, the couple that was in here just now had two dogs. They did the same thing. And I always tell people, like, if you are the person that's in charge, you shouldn't be looking at your, right. you know, because I've snuck into so many concerts just walking in, acting like I'm supposed to be there because of my intentions. And my intent were, like, I'm confident I'm supposed to be here. Right? Yeah. But if you're, like, <laughs> holy, no holy, <laughs> it's working, then they're going to be, like, but if you're, if you're the full package where you're like, you're going to stay here. And so like how, how I always explain it too, that makes some sense to people is if I hired, say, say you needed a job, hired you for the first day, somebody came right in that door and just walked straight to the back without saying anything. You wouldn't think twice. That would be somebody that worked here. Right. Yeah. But if they walked in, kind of looked around, opened the gate real sketchy, you'd be like, can I help you? Because you're in charge at that, you know what I mean? Yep. So it's all about how you address yourself to the dog. And so if you're walking and you're constantly like looking down and like waiting for them, your momentum is halfway already turned to them instead of like where you're going. And then you don't notice it because you're doing what you're supposed to. They're looking up at you and they're going, where are we going? Where are you going? And then you're going, so your shoulders are straight. You know what I mean? Yep. And so they're looking up and they're saying where we're going and you're here and they're just, they're rocking right with you. So that's what, it is hard. Everyone says that. They're like, ah, oh, I keep looking, I keep looking, I keep looking. But, and I always say you can look, but just don't. Because then, like, who's in charge? Like, you don't want to look at them and say, what are we doing? You're, you know, so. Um, what we could do is get them both out. Mm -hmm. I can work them real quick. Hand it off to you. If you can do what you just did with her together, then we'll end it. And then we'll just keep getting better. Sure. Cool. All right. What I'm going to do is tune them up together now because it's a completely different game. Come, 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 come. Yay, good job. Come on, guys. Good. So I'm only giving them a correction if they don't come. Come, guys. Come, come, come. Okay, come. Good. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. So the hard thing is, is walking two dogs at once. Right, you just gotta feel it out. But like you said, she's gonna follow suit, I believe. So I'm gonna keep him closer. Ah, ah. Good. Come. Come. 
No. He looked at me like, really? Ah. So now I'm going to do an inside turn. Good. Yeah, and she's doing really well. Ah. Come. Good. Good. Good job, guys. Good job. So I'm nice and relaxed with them. I'm going to let the leashes down a little bit. Keep them nice and relaxed. Ah, ah, ah. Shh. Good. Good job. So now I'm just going to slow down. Using my body, trying to trying to trying to keep a clear head when you're handling two dogs that are trying to figure each other out is hard. But just being the the person that's in charge, just because it's not. If you're good at handling dogs, and you work each individual dog, you could get a hundred of them together. That's not the hard part. The hard part is is teaching you how to do it. There's many people out there that can handle. You see the pictures of people with 15 dogs here, 15 yeah. dogs here in their walk, like season Milan. He's great. I'm not taking anything from him, but that's easy to do if you work with them individually and get them together. And then they're all just following suit of like whoever's in charge. The hard part is, is teaching somebody who's not a professional handling dogs how to do that, which is hopefully what we'll be able to get you to do before you leave here today. Ah, ah. So I'm gonna do some, when, you, when you're taking yourself, just like walk straight forward. Use your body. Nope. Nope. Just push right through them. I'm not intentionally like pushing them. I'm just going like this, and if they don't get out of my way, I'm just going to slide them. Yep, just like that. Just move forward. Try not to look at them. Slow down a little bit. It'll be easier for you. There you go. Because now they... Nice. Now they got to get used to you. Come on. That. Come on. So here's what I do for a tune-up. Let the leashes out. Take it all the way. Here. Okay. Now go my way. My way. And go the other way and tell them to come. Come. Pop. There. Come. Again. Good. Come. Come. Pop, 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 pop. Come. Yep. Good. Again. Come. Come. Pop, 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 pop. Come. Nice. Again. Come. Now this time just slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. Nice. Now you see how they, you grabbed them again? Go that way. Come. Pop. And now get your half, fold your leash in half again. Yep. There you go. Now you got them. Go ahead. Good. Now turn back my way. Come. Come. Nice. Now just slow down. Release your pressure. Nice. That's good. The other way. Yep. Come on. Good. So when you make your turn, go ahead, go ahead, I'll show you. Now look up. There. Because as soon as you turn, they're going to look at you. And if you're on them, there, up. Look up. Nice. Now do an outside turn towards me. Yep. Good. Now look me. Beautiful. Because they're already behind you. And so go do it again. We're going to do this together, and I'll kind of explain it. Pop, pop, pop. You know, good. My dog doesn't know how to sit. Your issue was my dog's dragging me down the road. So some people come in here, and my dog doesn't know how to sit. We teach them sit with food for two seconds, and then they go out and try to do a sit-stay of football field, and they get and frustrated. you don't have food. And just like, right. Well. So just don't go home and overdo it. The best thing to do from here was showing you that it's, it's doable, what they're capable of, what I'm capable of, what you're capable of. Hey, chill out. Um, 
So if you're going to work them with like the slip leads when you go home, mm -hmm. do it individually so you don't get yourself frustrated. Do it for 10 minutes at a time. Hey, no. Do it for 10 minutes at a time. So go out with one, do your tune up. So you'll go out, turn, come, pop. Make sure they're with you. And then do that for 10 minutes and then slow down. Stop, good, stop, good. And you'll get better and then you can put them together. Mm -hmm. Do it for five minutes and then end it. Now, before that, to make yourself more successful and to make them, because look, he's whooped. That's great, because that's probably pretty hard to do. Yeah. Um, to make yourself more successful, let them exercise first. You'll just keep getting better and better, but it's more or less you figuring out why they're doing it and how to fix it versus like what kind of tool are we gonna use to stop it. Um, and all we use is slip leads and there's other things we could use in the future, but um, they just needed like, hey, you can't do that and here's why. Yeah. And more importantly, like coaching you through how to you know, do your body, do your face, everything is big. A lot of subtleties. A lot of people say, well, you make it look so easy. It's because there's a lot of subtleties that I'm doing with the dog that people don't see to the naked eye unless you start working and realizing like, oh, the way your shoulders are, the way your head is, the way your, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. So I think you'll do really good. Um, now, like when I take, because I'm only doing this 10 minutes at a time, like when I take him out of here, should I take him off the slip lead? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great question. And I'm glad you asked. Because here's the deal is we didn't work on exit. Right. Because exit is like we're going somewhere. Right, and then he's just going to And it's snowing out. and they're huskies. Yeah. If we worked on it, I would say you should walk them out of here completely fine. What I would do is because we have like a little barrier here between here and the door, is I would use your slip leads to walk up and then put them back on their harnesses mm -hmm. and then you could go outside and let them do what they want. Because I don't want you to get frustrated and I don't want them to end on a bad note because right now they've, they've both done beautifully and you did really well. So, you know, playing a fool would say, no, you should be fine. They're not going to drag you to the car, but I know they're going to. Yeah. Only because we haven't worked on it. Step at a time, training wheels, and then you're off to the races. Um.